all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to use flux together with fast api right so that's what we're trying to do in this wonderful and exciting tutorial so let's see what we're building so by the end of this tutorial we'll be trying to see how to build something like this so this is this app is running on flux at the same time it's running with fast api so we have the main session of the app which is simple api or a simple part of the app for prediction so in case i paste in a movie here so like let's say ready player one right which is a nice movie about the metaverse if i click on this it's going to give me the prediction right and then it's going to give it the prediction that is a movie right very simple this is using the data sets we used previously if i come from here and i go back to the blog session this part of the app is solely on flux right so in case you have a blog and you want to run it together with an api this is what we will be using right and then i can also come back to the api session if i click on the api i'm going to return back to the first api swagger documentation in which i can see all the various endpoints that i can use to check for my app right so if i can check this one out click on try out execute and then we are going to see the result right perfect right so the result has come perfectly so how do you combine flux together with fast api so let's say you have an app which is having two sessions we have the session for the blog and we have a session for an api how do you combine it so what people do is that either you build everything in flux or you build everything in fast api but you can combine the two of them so in case you are building everything in flux you go with flux and then may use maybe restful plus or rest api right to build your api for the flux app but you can also do the same thing with fast api so let's see how to combine flux and then fast api so we do the basic and then in the next tut tutorial you're going to do you're going to be building this entire app from scratch so let's see how to build this thing from scratch so i just go back again to my workspace if i go back you can see that the app is running on fast api right as well as flux behind the scenes so let's check it out so i'll close this app that you are working on and you start building everything from scratch so I'm going to make a directory call. Let's call just say fast, yeah, flux app, something like that. And I'm moving to fast, fast flux, right? Yeah, combining fast, fast API and then flux together. As you can see, there's nothing here, right? So we can see that there's nothing inside my file. I'm going to create my first file, which I'm going to call just app.py. Perfect. And now let's open this particular directory and you start writing some code. Perfect. So if I come here, there's nothing here. So in case you don't have fast API, you can install it with pip install fast API. So you can just go with pip install fast API. All right, that is how to work with it. And then you also need to install UVCon, which is going to be our server. And then you also need to install Flux, right? So we are using these two different frameworks to help us with that. Okay, so let's go back again to our workspace. And let's build our app. So First of all, we're going to import the fast API first because when you are trying to build something like this, we are building, we will first build the API session and then you add and include the Flux session, right? You are trying to integrate Flux into fast API. So I'll go back and then let's work on it. So come down here from Flux. Let's go from fast. Hope everybody can see it. In case you have any question or contribution, you can also put inside the comment section below. So from fast apologies for this from fast api import fast api the so fast api it's supposed to be fast api right and you also need to post request in case you want to work with request right we are doing the basics of it then from there i'm going to also import my uvcon so import uvcon right very simple then let's initialize our app it's going to be initialize our fast api it's going to be my app then fast api then i'm going to call it as as we always do just go straight away with this right perfect so we're building the fast api first then as we already know to build a fast api endpoint just go with the app the creator which is coming from fast api here right then i'm going to specify the particular route so let's go with get then let's create a simple default route base route then def let's call this one as my you can give it any let's call it as read root or we can call it as index any how you want it to be right index page something like that right you can give it any name that you want but let's call it as read root read 
root perfect then let's return something to so return what I return is we're going to return something very simple so a simple test and let's call this um, fast API section right for app perfect. that is something very basic you have built right a simple basic rule you have built perfect now let's close the app so it's going to be my if main as you always do then here I'm going to be using uvcon so uvcon dot run then I'm going to pass in my app I'm passing in this app here refers to the app initialized here right then I'm going to specify the host so let's go with my 127.0.0.1 and then let's specify the port so the port is going to be port 8000 right perfect so let's add a simple and another endpoint to it if you want right but let's keep it like this perfect so now let's run this particular app so I'll come down here same location that my app is right and I'm going to run into gbcon so as you already know this app is referring to the file name app and this app is referring to what we initialized here right this particular app here which is the same thing we are initializing here mm -hmm. i'll go back here and i'll reload it I mean that anytime i'm making changes it's still going to reload so the url is already in use so let me close the old one and then let's run it again so it's running pivot on this particular port so i'll copy this particular port and then we will just check it out okay so now we have test fast api session so if i go back to the doc session you see that we see our swagger ui so the app is working perfectly well it's working as expected so this is your fast api endpoint perfect now let's see how to add flash to it so i'll position it beside it So let's see how to add the fast the flux as an aspect to it right so the entire stuff here was for the let's call this one as my fast api so fast api session so right and i want to add a flux session so let's add a flux session to it so let's go to my flux so flux session right perfect so let's import the test for flux so from flux import flags right and then in case you want to use maybe request or you want to use your for or render templates you can also import them so let's say i want to yeah something like that right you can also import them something very basic like this let's use render templates so render templates because we have done something very simple right very cool now how do you join the two of them how do you join your flags into your first api so to be able to do that you you need a middleway a wsgi middleway to help you do that so i'll come down again to the app itself and then i'm going to create a simple i'm going to initialize my flux app so it's going to be my flux app right if i give it any name and i'm going to call that my flux just like you would have done in initially right name so this is going to be for the flux app right and i'm going to create my flux route so let's create my flux out i'm going to be using the direct the creator so flux up so by default if we're doing it initially this would have been up right but now we are calling this one flux up then i'm just going to go back here there's the app to dot get i'm going to specify the route right so this is going to be my default route my base route then let's specify it so def let's call this one as my index page or let's call it as blog page to make it different so blog page right so this is going to be the blog page then return and now specify whatever i want to do so let's call this one as say blog session up right from flux so that is something very busy to help us understand so this session is for the flux it's for the first api this is for flux now how do you connect them so to connect them you need a middleware so you have to import the middleware so i'll come down to the top of my app so from first api we'll be importing the wsi middleware so from first api dot middleware so middle i can't spell my middle middleware dot wsgi import wsgi middleware so this is going to be the bridge right it's going to be a middle way to bridge the two of them together perfect that is all then you need to mount it 
So let's mount our flax up. So to mount it, mount flax on first API. So it's going to be this option. To mount is going to be my app. This app is coming from first API dot mount. Yeah, mountain what do i want to mount i want to mount this particular app so one caution when you are mounting it's not supposed to be the base route if you make it the base route it's not going to work because the app will not know which one to go straight away right so you cannot make it the base route so let's set this one as let's say blog session right this is going to be for the blog or it can be let's say home or it can be let's say app or something but it must not be empty if it's empty like this it's going to you'll be having an issue right okay so let's go back and call this one as the blog session of the app and then we're going to specify the middle way i'm going to pass in my initialize app here this app so it's going to hook them together that is all right so now let's run the app so the app is still running detecting the changes so for me to be able to get back again to the flash session I just go back again let me make it back here and i just go back to the blog if i go with the blog this is referring to this particular blog to automatically fall to this default route a blog session of flash app as you can see right so we have the blog session of flash app so if i add another route so let's add another flash route so i'll copy this entire stuff let's say i want to add a another page so let's call this one as about page for blog right and I'll just pass in my about here right perfect so this is going to be my about session session from flux and now if I re re refresh it everything is working as expected so in case I want to go to this particular route I have to just go blog slash about so about session of app so in case I want to refer to this particular app so the route is going to be there copy this one so I see it copy this and then paste it here so this is how it's going to be so this blog is coming from the main blog here and then this about is coming from here right perfect so in case I also want to run this one I'll just go back again to this option here without this and it's going to work right perfect so this is how it's going to be seen so in case I change this one this is going to be the main route so that is how to integrate or incorporate flux right into your first api right which is very cool and very nice so in case you have two sessions of the app one which is for the blog you can design everything in flux and then you can incorporate it into your first api so that you have the first api session for the app and it's still working if i expand the app and i go back to my docs so we have the first api session still working perfectly well right and if i take this one off and i go back to the default route it's going to return to the fast api session very simple that is how to incorporate fast api into your flux app or flux app rather into your fast api so simple put just going to import your middleware which is the most important glue to glue them before you have your fast your flux session you're going to initialize your flux app so the fast api and then the flux session then you're going to mount it right you're going to mount your flux api on the fast api and then you're going to have your route perfectly well so everything works as expected so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the conversation below and see you in the next session stay blessed bye